This sequencing lick of four notes ascending and descending is played a lot by shred guitar players. Most of the times with alternate picking. You can play this also with hybrid picking like this. I've already made a video about that, but this time I'm gonna adapt the scale tapping technique to that lick. In my Guitar Nerdery episode number 129, I'm going into depth with this and into all them struggles that occur by doing this. So if you're interested, tune right in. Hello and welcome back to my Guitar Nerdery program. This time I'd like to show you a cool tapping lick, uh, actually more a tapping exercise. A while back, some years ago, when I started this program, I made some tapping videos and therefore I had to go back to it because I completely was away from the tapping technique. And while doing all these videos, my interest for the technique came back. But I was always interested in being able to improvise with the technique, not only uh, practicing some licks and try to fit them into a solo, no more being able to improvise, to, to move freely. like this. And very soon I realized that I was confronted with a big problem. It's using the index finger as a hammer finger. In all my soloing, the index finger is the finishing finger. Mostly all them hammer-ons and pull-offs are done with them three fingers. And this just finishes the movement on one string. For example, when I'm playing on the G string and I'm starting here with the index finger, but I pick the note, hammer on, hammer on, I can pull, pull. As long as I'm staying on the string, even if I move to another position, I can do a slide, but I never have to do a hammer on. And when I'm changing the string, I can simply Pick the note when I'm using the index finger. And the same happens when I'm doing the pull-offs. Pull, pull. I don't even have, then um, when I'm changing the string, uh, to pick the note, I can hammer on, but I'm using the pinky, for example. So even when I'm pulling a scale down, this finger only finishes the string. Very soon I found out that while exploring the tapping technique, not being able to use my index finger for doing hammer-ons limited my possibilities a lot. And if you don't want to play with a technique that demands hammer-ons with the index finger, then you can simply forget it. You will never realize that you can't do it. It's not necessary at all. But this video is about tapping technique and uh, I'm gonna show you an exercise, a lick, that really gets to the point with training this. The first tapping technique exercise that made my problem obvious was scale tapping. Because I want to use that technique also for improvising, I had to adapt the mindset I have when I'm normally soloing to the tapping technique. And I'm most of the times thinking in three note per string patterns when I'm thinking in scales. It's not everything I'm thinking, but uh, it's, it's the basis. And I wanted to adapt to this. The scale tapping idea is pretty simple. You have a three note per string pattern I'm going to use pattern number four here. I'm calling it number four. It's because when the starting note is also the root, it's the fourth mode in the Ionian system, the Lydian mode. Let me show you. Thank you. 
And playing this with uh, scale tapping means you're doing two hammer-ons or pull-offs, um, legato notes with the left hand, if you're right-handed, of course, with the right hand. And uh, the third note is always the tapped one. <laughs> Let me show you this. Right from the start my problem got obvious because the very first note already is a hammer-on with the index finger. Okay, it's not that difficult, I have to admit. But on the go, when playing the scale upwards, every first note on every new string is a hammer-on with the index finger. And then you very soon get in conflict with your former note you're playing to get it well articulated or to get even the hammer on strong enough um, that it doesn't fall back. When I'm combining left hand legato with hybrid picking, I'm used to uh, let them fingers stay very close to the fretboard. But especially the index fingers really close to the fretboard. <laughs> From this position, it, I cannot get enough power into the hammer-on, so I have to do a little greater movement that I wasn't used to do. Look, this is what I mean. Talking about millimeters, but my movement has to be a little greater than I'm normally used to do. Just to get enough power for that uh, hammered note with the index finger, that it doesn't fall back in comparison with them other notes. And there's another problem that has to be solved when playing scale tapping. Playing the former note on the former string <laughs> transition to the next note on the next string has to be smooth to keep that legato sound. Otherwise, you have this. And that's not what you want. You want to have a fluent uh, movement. And this can be really tricky. You have to time this really good don't interrupt it too soon. You will immediately hear it. Back to our first problem, the main problem, the hammer-ons with the index finger. It only occurs, it only happens when playing the scale upwards. When pulling down, downwards, then the index finger is the finishing finger again. So no hammer-ons with the index finger. And for me, of course, playing the scale down with the technique was much easier than upwards. Getting now to the main exercise I wanted to show you. This will train it even downwards. I'm talking about a sequencing lick of four notes that you can play with other techniques, with hybrid picking or even with alternate picking. Its concept is you have a three note per string pattern and you playing uh, four notes up and then you're going back to the 
second note and playing four notes up from there and then from the third note and this way every time you get one note higher and backwards the same four notes down and then the next four notes down from the uh, next lower note so this way it's just the opposite and so on and I thought okay can I adapt the uh, scale tapping technique to that sequencing lick and uh, this turned out to be hell there are so many hammer-ons with the index finger then even when you play it downwards because you have uh, to skip back and forth between them strings and that uh, is is really really challenging but I actually have to say it first was felt like hell but um, I gained a lot from it I gained much effort with my problem not being able to play hammer-ons with the index finger so before I'm gonna play the whole exercise slow and fast for you to pick it up um, let me strongly recommend this if you want to dig deep into the tapping technique then this is probably a really interesting thing to practice and one more add when I'm on the upper string I'm gonna use two fingers to tap to get to the perfect fifth just for the fun you don't have to do this but why not much fun and success checking out this technique maybe you're getting really good with this and you can adapt it to your solo playing but even if you don't it still has a great training effect if you like this exercise if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm looking very forward to see you next time <laughs>